Education experts say academic qualifications without adequate skills to deliver is one of the major causes of unemployment in Nigeria. In a bid to see the end of white scholar jobs in Lagos, the state government organized a science, arts and crafts exhibition in Talent Hunt amongst the six education districts in the state. Representing the governor at the grand finale, Deputy Governor Idiata Debule said invention, entrepreneurship and development of innate natural talents are the ways to survive in Nigeria. The future belongs to you and I urge you to step up, take the destiny of this nation in your hands and chart a new cause for Nigeria. The market is huge for those who can inject creativity in the design and production of these items, including other areas of our culture, especially in the creative art category. The event witnessed lots of skillful display, but the best emerged as winners. A primary school under Subeb in Education District 1 emerged the first in talent hunt, while two secondary schools in Education Districts 4 and 6 came first in arts and crafts and science exhibition, respectively. Let's celebrate our working governor. Let's celebrate the executive chairman. Education is a tool towards national development. So there is no amount of money that is being invested in education that will be a wastage, you know. Even with what has been invested in education, we can see these wonderful outputs from these children. We have high hopes in them. We know that with little effort, with little support on our, on our part of these children, these children will go places. As a student, I had to balance between my school and making this project, so time is also a problem. Then, since we're not really grounded in engineering aspects of making projects, we had um, problems with electric shocks, we had um, failures, some things affect our project, right? so we had we faced challenges with those things. The exhibition the Lagos government hopes will serve as a veritable means for the students to find economic opportunities in co-curricular activities. Karima Salami, TVC News, Lagos.